Welcome to episode two of our CBGM series here. This time we'll be doing a little different dive because we won't be doing our Illinois team. We'll be doing the second team I'm involved with, the Georgia State Panthers. I'm your host again, the coolest Jedi, and we'll be going right into Georgia State Panthers here. As you can see from the dashboard, this team is not very good. It's a very far cry from where we are with the Illinois Fighting Illini. But we're, we are in the Sun Belt, which isn't the strongest conference. And we're also probably one of the stronger, prestige-wise, I believe, we're one of the better teams in the Sun Belt. And if we're not the best team in the Sun Belt, I want to say, yeah. So we're in the East Division of the Sun Belt Conference. And I'd say we're probably the best team here. Overall, just by prestige, I think we can recruit a lot better than everybody else. So that's going to be a big thing is our first year recruiting is going to have to be major. If it's not major, we're going to be in some trouble because I don't see us gaining sort of that in-depth recruiting players without like three-star guys and two stars. So we're going to focus heavy on JUCOs and a lot of three-star freshmen. So that's going to be our big thing there because I don't think we're good enough to try anything else. So I'm going heavy in the Southeast. Hopefully we'll find some Georgia kids who will want to come down. If not, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle here, but probably always a little struggle. Let's see if they'll load up for us on our little roster screen. So here we go. By position, we got our point guard, shooting guard, small forwards, power forwards, and centers. So point guard, Keith Stone King. Uh, that sounds like a Lord of the Rings name. <laughs> that's pretty. That's actually a pretty good name. I might keep keep him around just for that. But you can see here, he's a two-star current rating, three-and-a-half-star potential rating. Good outside shooter, can't score. Decent passer, very athletic. So he's probably our best point guard, I want to say. So Stone King might be starting getting heavy minutes for us tonight for this first season. Um, oh, actually, Johnny Jack is about a two-star, three-and-a-half, three-star potential rating. Um, he's a better passer. Terrible scorer. Oh, man. So he's not going to score anything. But he can't handle the offense a little better. Very good shooter, too. But, man, the scoring's so bad. Yeah, we're not going to get anything out of him. And then we got James Dunleavy, our shooting guard. One star right now. Y'all, this is bad. Three star potential, 78 outside. And everything else is in the red. That is, he is not starting for sure. Ray Garrett, let's see if he gets a little better. Uh, kind of. He's got some good things going for him. The scoring is not good. Two star, two and a half star potential. Uh Billy Tolliver, you see here, Billy's amazing outside shooter, can't score. Oh, man, that's going to be unfortunately. So what, what do we got here? He's a good guy. That's good. He's tough. What does it say? He is a good work ethic, so he can improve. Two-star, three-star potential. Yeah, we're going to need some. And then we got OJ Weasel Wessel. Oh, he's getting cut. <laughs> he's getting cut. Oh, I probably can't even cut him because of prestige hit, but oh, man. Okay, and Albert Thomas was just arguably our best player. Two and a half star, three star potential. Can't score either. Ooh, slim pickings out here. Slim pickings. Chris Hampton, two star, three star potential. You can't score. <laughs> you can't score either. Uh, another small forward here. We got a great outside shooter in Jock. Jock Ray. Uh, one and a half, one and a half star current rating, three star potential. Um, he's probably the most athletic person in the league. Uh, that's good. And then we got Colin Belairs. Mm, nothing really stand out besides free throws and def defensive rebounding, but I probably won't use him at that. So decent. Leroy Graves looks real good. I mean, what's his worth that thing? Oh, average man, really? If you had a good, I'd have so much more hope in you because these these can rapidly improve with playing time. One and a half star current rating, potential of four. He could be our best player. 
three years down the line. And then we got walk-ons. Mark Brown, terrible. Steven Cors Corsi can rebound defensively. Can't do much else. Oh, boy. And then we got Drew Dye, who I think is actually our best player. Yeah, he, oh, he can't score either. <laughs> Two and a half star. Uh, three and a half star potential. Man. He can block. He can rebound. He can score inside. But he cannot really score. He can shoot inside, but he can't score. So, tough pickings. And then we got Chris Howard. Pretty bad. Yeah, he's got a player trait, though. He's an attacker. That can't score. So yeah, that's the team. It's not looking great for us. Uh, I have not set up my depth and strategy yet as I did with Illinois, and that's mostly because I'm still considering if I want to cut players and red short players at the by the time that needs to be done. And I'm still looking at like changing a lot of these starting lineups because I think with our point guard rotations, we're gonna need to play both of our point guards and that sort of I get like 16 minutes you get 16 minutes and the rest of the minutes go to another guy etc cetera, etc cetera. so we're probably not going to play guys like all the time but we're going to play them in like intervals so hey you come in you lead the bench you lead the starting unit blah 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 that sort of death in and out and we'll go to our office here what is our goals we need to qualify for the NIT tournament I think we can do that we need to win the conference tournament as I said before I think we're the better we're one of the better teams in this conference <laughs> uh, so I need to also make sure I fix these philosophies too because I do want to make sure my philosophies make sense and we also need to make sure we improve our school procedure and finish above 500 I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I think we can do that. I think this isn't going to be difficult just because the Sun Belt is that going to be that difficult. But it is all user teams. So everyone in the Sun Belt is a human controlled player. So that means we'll be competing against other players in the Sun Belt. Similar to the Big Ten, but the Sun Belt sort of like the official, like small conference small team conference that we have for everybody. So everyone's in the everyone's thrown into the Sun Belt. And the Big Ten is more like the power schools, more like national championship quality teams, more like, hey, we're, rec we're trying to recruit the top of the top. And then the Sun Belt's kind of like, we're trying to be the best of the worst, you know? So hopefully we're that good. Uh, let's look at our school info here. I want to see if there's, what history Georgia State has. Okay, so five conference championships. They've been in the NCAA tournament five times. A winning percentage of point four four nine. Uh, we don't have a non-conference rival. I'm probably not going to find one with Georgia State. We're just too low, I feel, to like really get one. You can see our budget and our SAT minimum is a nine hundred. Very doable. That's we can find kids who can do that. And we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Where is it at? GSU Sports Arena, Sun Belt Conference, an arena capacity of three k, eight hundred and fifty four. So. 3,854 people will see us probably lose a lot, but hopefully they'll see us win as well. Um, I think that's about it. Let's I can we can run down the the Sun Belt a little bit more. Sun Belt, Sun Belt. Let's see if it'll load for us. So Coastal Carolina, Appalachian State. Georgia Southern, Georgia State, South Alabama, Troy, Arkansas State, Little Rock, uh, Louisiana, Louisiana Monroe, Louisiana Lafayette, Texas State, Texas Arlington. So in our East Division, I'm saying the biggest threats to us are probably Troy. And then in the West Division, oh, maybe Louisiana Lafayette, I'd say. Maybe Louisiana Lafayette. So I think that's about going to be it for us, uh, pretty much general coverage of the team it's not great maybe good enough to win the Sun Belt conference tourney and get that NCAA tournament appearance first off but I'm not hoping in it I uh, do thank you all for joining us this has been the coolest Jedi we are finally out thank you very much